Are you ready for the rapture? Let's think about this in light of God's Word. Hi everyone, this is Emily Wickham with Proclaiming Him to Women, a ministry that helps women know, love, and imitate Jesus. Welcome to each and every one of you. I'm so grateful that you have chosen to spend a few moments with me in God's Word. And if you're visiting my channel for the first time, I hope this message blesses you and that you will subscribe and come back for more messages from God's Word. So today I wanted to share some thoughts with you based on Philippians 1.6. So let me start by reading this verse. For I am confident of this very thing, that he who began a good work in you will perfect it until the day of Christ Jesus. We hear this a lot where, you know, we are encouraged to make sure we are ready for the rapture. And the primary way we are ready for the rapture is by having a relationship, a personal relationship with God through placing our faith in Jesus Christ. That is the number one way each of us prepares for the rapture. It's to make sure that we have come before God and we have trusted in Jesus. We have believed in the Lord Jesus because he died on the cross for our sins. He was buried and he rose on the third day. And by believing in him, we are saved, we are forgiven of our sins, and we gain eternal life. So that is so important, and I urge you, if you do not have this personal relationship with God through faith in Christ, then please believe in the Lord Jesus today. But once we are a Christian, and we have this relationship with God, we are still living each day here in this world and we face different situations. There are different circumstances in each of our lives and it's so important for us to be obedient to God's Word and to be growing in our relationship with God and to be being conformed to the image of Christ. You know, that's what God's Word talks about in Romans chapter 8. It says that God works all things together for good to those who love God and those who are called according to his purpose. But it also says in that passage that we are being conformed to the image of Christ. And so what I want us to think about in light of what God's word says, and particularly what this verse in Philippians says, is it's not so much things that we are doing to get ready for the rapture, to get ready to meet our Savior face to face. But it's God doing a good work in us. And He is going to continue doing that work until the day of Christ Jesus, until the rapture. I hope that truth encourages you and comforts you and fixes your eyes above because we need to pay attention to what the Holy Spirit is doing within us. And it's our role to submit to the Holy Spirit, to yield to God's work within us. It's not so much about what are we doing to make sure we're ready, but it's about making sure that we are sensitive to the Holy Spirit and we are yielding. To his work within us. It's a beautiful work he's doing because he's making us more like our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit is cultivating those fruits of the Spirit within us. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So my challenge to each of us today is to pinpoint one of those fruits of the Spirit, and to ask God to grow that in greater measure within us. I mean, we want all of them, but 
perhaps one of those just comes right to mind as something you're lacking, something I'm lacking. I'll tell you what mine is that comes immediately to mind. I am lacking peace because of a very difficult situation in my life. I am finding that peace is not a, a constant companion of mine. And I know there are times where we are troubled and that sort of thing, but I would love for the Holy Spirit to produce peace within me in an increasing measure. I believe he's working. He's doing that. So I encourage each of you, think about one of those qualities and ask God to grow that in you even more. Let's pay attention. Let's, uh, let's take this perspective into our week. Let's ask God what he's doing inside of us and let's be encouraged that he's going to keep doing this good work within us until the rapture. And if you would like to be transparent and share what it is that you want God to grow within you, I hope you will leave that in the comment section. Share it with us so we can be praying for one another. So you can just feel the community of believers surrounding you in prayer. God is busy, God is active, and he is still doing things in us and through us until the day of Christ Jesus. To God be the glory for his precious word and the work he's doing in us. Until next time, this is Emily Wickham with Proclaiming Him to Women.